So, are you up for the job? Uh, yeah. Aiden really wants to write about his experience, and that's why he wanted to go. So, when can we get going? Next week, you have a week off from school, so you can go on your mission. Since today is Thursday, you'll come here tomorrow after school for the rest of the week to train for this mission. Both of you. I want you to think about all of this over tonight, okay? You could die on this mission. Okay, I need to do this. I owe it to him and I owe it to me to prove all of those people wrong. If I back up now, what will Aiden think? What am I thinking? Of course I'm going. Zane, she could get seriously hurt or even die. Well, she wants to do it and it's her life. It's not worth she it. She has someone going with her. She's going to be fine. And we don't even know who this person is. Actually, I know his dad. I mean, we're not close or anything, but I, I know him. Who's his dad? When Josh and I used to be friends, we had our own little gang and he was, he was one of them. Okay, now it's a huge no. If his dad knows Josh Green, then she's definitely not going. Hey, we both know Josh Green too, so... Eliza, look. She'll go into that stupid village and bring back Chris. It's always been her dream to see him again. He's not worth her life. Everyone thinks we're an idiot for letting her go. And I know we've been through a lot when we were kids, but like... But this is life and death, okay? We've been there before, and I know it's a long time ago, but I'm sure she'll be fine. So, um, did you find someone to go with you? Yeah, I, I did. Who was it? Was it your parents? Well, I mean, if my parents could have gone, then maybe they would have, but, um, just that Emma Taylor thing, it kind of kept them from going with me, but, um... It's Aiden Price. He's going with me. Aiden barely socializes. Well, he's coming with me, so at least try to convince me he's a good partner. I mean, in crime, he probably is. Guys, he's probably not terrible. But since no one ever talks to him except for his best friend, we always assume the worst. Exactly, he might not be that bad. Okay, now you're just trying to convince yourself. I'm training with him today, so I'll get to know him better. Good luck then. Thanks. Aiden. Hi. We're going to the police training thing together, right? I mean, it's late and we should probably get there. Actually, I don't know if I'm gonna do it. What do you mean? Y you signed up for it. My friend doesn't want me to do it. He said it's a huge risk just for an article. And I don't know if it's even gonna be on the front page. I'm going for my friend. I know. This amazing guy you fell in love with and then he suddenly disappears. You can go write the ending to your fanfiction on Wattpad. Aiden, what changed your mind? Life, Lara. We're just stupid high schoolers going to an abandoned village alone. I'm scared, no. I'm sure we're not gonna come out alive. Aiden, I believe we can do it. Look, Lara, we're not the same. We never wanted to go in there for the same reason. I wanted to write a stupid article, and you wanted to find your long-lost boyfriend. I'm not risking my life for him. What made you do it in the first place? You. When I saw you that day, I wanted to help. I also thought maybe I could write an article on it, and it might even get published. I was thinking about it at 1 a.m. in the morning, Lara. My mind wasn't set straight. Let me ask you something. 
Are you doing it because you want to save your friend, or are you doing it to save your own reputation? I don't know. I have this connection to to Chris and and this addiction to 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 this mystery, and it's never been solved. I'm not saying no. I'm just saying I need more time to decide. But we're leaving next week. Why do you even need me? I'm sure there are other people who would love to go explore that village with you. But I know you. I don't know all those other people who might want to come. And if they did, they didn't sign up. Lara, you don't know me. Kevin knows me. He's the only person who knows me. Aiden, please. I said I'll think about it. I don't think I'm ready to leave everyone here because of you. You don't want to be known as the girl who killed two people, don't you? You know what? Fine. I'll go alone. Lara, I didn't mean it like that. Have fun with your article that's never going to get published. Mom, I'm home. <laughs> I know, that was so funny. Oh, Laura, your aunt's on the phone. She wants to talk to you. You mean your sister, Kate? We haven't seen her in so long. Well, she's here to answer all of your questions. Hello? Laura, how are you? I I'm fine. Where have you been all these years? I've been, you know, around town. Well, if you've been around here, you, you haven't came by to talk to us. I've been, well, studying hard for my doctor degree. Lara, you'll see me soon, I promise. What's the color of your hair now? I mean, you love to dye your hair. I, I remember seeing it all different shades of blue and purple and pink. <laughs> I remember when I was in high school, it used to be brown, you know? <laughs> Natural colors. Well, that was a long time ago. You haven't, I mean, I haven't seen you in a long time. You haven't been by since, since, well, Chris passed away. I miss you. Um, yeah, I miss you too. Sorry, Kate. She's still stuck on the, you know, Chris situation. I understand. They were really close. Yeah. Now, Eliza, let's talk about, you know, our land situation right here. I need the land Dad gave to you to start building my business. I already told you, I'm not selling it, nor am I giving it to you. I'm saving it for Lara, okay, Kate? I'm not selling it. But I need it, Eliza. I need it to start my business. And I know, Kate, the last time you called me about this was like three years ago. 